everyone, this is Sam, the designer behind Swivel's Crochet Corner. Today I have for you a fun and spooky Halloween themed pattern modification for the Car Hanging Plants collection. This collection has been a huge hit. I am so thankful that you guys all love this pattern. So as a thank you, I decided to give you guys a little spooky pattern modification. So first off, if you have not yet purchased the Car Hanging Plant Collection crochet pattern, I will link to the pattern link down below. You're going to need this pattern to be able to crochet this pattern modification. So for the Halloween Car Hanging Plant Pattern Modification, you are going to need some worsted weight yarn. I use the Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn brand in the colors Black, Brown, Burnt Pumpkin, Mid Green, Spa, and White. You'll only need one skein each. You will also need a size F or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, some black felt, fabric or hot glue, polyester fiber fill stuffing, scissors, a stitch marker, and a yarn needle. So grab your supplies and let's go ahead and get started. We are going to get started with our cauldron. This has a pot and soil modification. We are going to start with the pot. So with your black yarn and your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, crochet six single crochets in a magic ring. Just to note here, for the pumpkin and skull modification, you will be crocheting the pot as instructed in the Car Hanging Plant Collection crochet pattern. You will use burnt orange for the pumpkin and white for the skull. So I'm just going to go over the instructions for the modification for the cauldron and the soil. If you have not yet purchased the Car Hanging Plant Collection, as mentioned before, the link to the pattern is down below in the description. For round two, increase in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. For round three, one single crochet. Single crochet increase. Repeating this same sequence six times for a total of 18 stitches. For round four, first start with two single crochets. Then a single crochet increase, one single crochet, and next we are going to crochet a bobble stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the designated stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, 
yarn over and draw through two loops, repeat this same sequence five times until you have six loops on your hook. Once you have six loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all six loops. You have now completed your first bobble stitch. Next you will single crochet increase in the next stitch. Two single crochet, and in the next stitch, you will one single crochet and a bobble stitch in the same stitch. Next, two single crochet, single crochet increase, one single crochet, and then a bobble stitch. Next, you will single crochet increase, two single crochets, and then in the last stitch, you will one single crochet and crochet your last bobble stitch, all in the same stitch. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, three single crochets, and then increase, repeating this same sequence six times. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches.
round six, we are going to be crocheting in the back loops of the previous round. We will be crocheting 30 half double crochets. So you'll be crocheting a half double crochet in the back loop of each stitch around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For rounds 7 through 10, we will be crocheting 30 half double crochets or a half double crochet in each stitch around. At the completion of each round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. This will be a total of 4 rounds. I'm going to start crocheting this first round here, and then I will meet you back once we have completed all of those rounds. Once you have completed round 10, we will now move on to round 11. First, we are going to crochet 15 half double crochets. Once you have made it to the 15th stitch, go ahead and pause here and place a stitch marker. We will be coming back to this stitch marker later. Next, you will finish with crocheting 14 half double crochets, and then in the last stitch, crochet a slip stitch. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches.
for round 12, you will chain 60. Once you have chained all 60 of your chains, you will be slip stitching in the mark stitch from round 11. You can now fasten off and weave in your ends. You have now completed the pot portion of your cauldron. We are now going to move on to the riches brew portion of the pattern modification, which goes along with the cauldron with the mid green yarn and a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, six single crochets in a magic ring. Just to note here for the pumpkin and skull portions of the pattern, You'll be crocheting the soil as instructed in the Car Hanging Plant Collection crochet pattern using brown yarn. I'm just going to go over the instructions for the modification for the Witch's Brew. Again, if you have not purchased the Car Hanging Plant Collection, the link to the pattern is down below in the description. For round two, increase in each stitch around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round three, you will first one single crochet, single crochet increase, repeating the same sequence six times around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches.
for round four, two single crochet, and then increase, repeating this same sequence six times around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, three single crochet, and then increase, repeating this same sequence six times around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, we will be working in the back loops only of the previous round. Crochet 30 half double crochets in the back loops only. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches.
for round seven through nine, we will be crocheting a half double crochet in each stitch around. At the completion of each round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. This will be a total of three rounds. I'm gonna go ahead and start crocheting round seven, and then I'll meet you back after we've completed round nine. For round 10, we will be crocheting in the back loops of the previous round. First, you will three single crochet, and then decrease, repeating the same sequence six times around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round 11, we will one single crochet, bobble stitch, and then decrease, repeating this same sequence six times around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches.
For round 12, you will first one single crochet, then decrease, then a bobble stitch, and decrease again, repeating this same sequence three times around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. After I've completed this round, I like to take a pause here and try to push out some of these bobble stitches just to give them more shape. Then start to stuff your witch's brew with polyfill stuffing. For round 13, decrease six times around. At the completion of this round, you should have a total of six stitches.
You can now fasten off your yarn, leaving an 8 inch or 20 centimeter tail for closing. Using your yarn needle, weave the tail through the front loops of the remaining 6 stitches, pulling tight to close. Weave in any remaining ends. To assemble your cauldron, simply place the completed witch's brew, fitting it into the pot. It is not necessary to attach the witch's brew to the pot. You have now completed your cauldron. For your car hanging pumpkin plant, use the succulent leaves pattern, the pot and soil patterns from the car hanging plant collection. As stated previously, that pattern link is down below in the description. For this portion of the pattern, I am going to show you how to apply your jack-o'-lantern face to your pumpkin. First, you will need to print the stencil on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper to Obtain the Jack Lantern face stencil. I will leave the link to download down below in the description. Take your scissors and cut out the eyes, nose, and mouth of the Jack Lantern. Once you have finished cutting out your stencil, you will be tracing each facial feature on the black felt, cutting along the traced edges. If you are having difficulty tracing on the black felt, I suggest taping the facial features onto the felt and cutting around the stencils.
once you have finished cutting out your jack-o'-lantern face, you will be gluing each of the facial features onto your pumpkin. Using fabric or hot glue, I personally prefer using fabric glue, but you can also use hot glue. Glue the eyes, nose, and mouth to the pot. You will want to make sure that the face is centered on the pot between the hanging chain. I personally like to lay all my facial features onto my pumpkin prior to gluing them on just to make sure that they are in the right spot and centered. Alrighty, well let's go ahead and start gluing our jack-o'-lantern face onto our pumpkin. You now have completed your car hanging pumpkin plant. We are now going to move on to crocheting our skull. First we are going to be crocheting the brain. So starting with the spa colored yarn and your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Six single crochet in a magic ring. For rounds two through five, you will increase in each stitch around. At the completion of round two, you should have 12 total stitches. At the end of round three, you should have 24 total stitches. The end of round four, a total of 48 stitches. And at the end of round five, a total of 96 stitches. Just to note here, as you're crocheting rounds two through five, the brain will naturally start to curl, which will give it that brain-like appearance.
You can now fasten off your yarn, leaving a 10 inch or 25 centimeter tail for sewing. We are now going to assemble our brain. You should already have crocheted a white pot with the brown soil from the Car Hanging Plant Collection. Again, if you have not purchased this pattern already, the link to the pattern is down below. With the 10 inch 25 centimeter yarn tail and yarn needle, sew the brain to the top of the soil. I personally like to use that middle yarn tail that we had left over from the magic ring to center the brain on the soil. I just insert that tail first into the soil and then I start sewing with the 10 inch 25 centimeter yarn tail. I think it looks the best to sew each curled point touching the soil to the soil. I think it still gives your brain a cleaner looking appearance and will still keep it in place on your soil. Similarly to the cauldron and the pumpkin patterns, once you are done sewing the brain to the soil, you can place the soil into the pot. And again, it's not necessary to attach the soil to the pot. We are next going to move on to crocheting the eyes of our skull. You are going to make two eyes for your skull. Taking your black yarn and your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, four single crochet in a magic ring, and slip stitch in the first single crochet, you'll have a total of five stitches after completing this round.
You will then fasten off leaving an 8 inch or 20 centimeter tail for closing. You can now crochet your second eye repeating these same steps. We are now going to sew each eye to the pot. I personally find it easiest to sew and embroider our facial features without the soil in the pot, but you can do whatever works best for you. I am going to remove it just for the video. Sew each eye between rounds 9 to 11 of the pot, about 1 to 2 stitches apart. Make sure while you are sewing your eyes that they are centered on the pot between the hanging chain. I always like to place my eyes on the pot first prior to sewing just to make sure they are centered in exactly where I want them. Once you are finished sewing on your eyes, tie a knot in the yarn tails and hide them inside your pot. Next we are going to embroider our nostrils with the black yarn and a yarn needle. Embroider two nostrils between rounds 8 and 9 of the pot, about one stitch apart. Make sure the nostrils are centered between the eyes.
Before fastening off our yarn, we are going to embroider our mouth. Using the black yarn and a yarn needle, embroider a mouth between round 6 to 7 of the pot. Your mouth should be about 11 to 12 stitches long. And just a note, make sure that your mouth is centered between your eyes, nostrils, and the hanging chain. Next, embroider vertical teeth at each stitch along the mouth. You should have about 11 to 12 black vertical teeth stitches after you are done. I like my mouth to have a slight curve, so when you are embroidering your teeth stitches, embroider your teeth stitches to keep that curved mouth shape. Once you have completed your mouth, fasten off and hide the yarn tails inside the pot. If you remove the soil, you can now place it back inside your pot. You now have completed your skull. It was fun, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed making these Halloween car hanging plants as much as I did. If you are crocheting some Halloween car hanging plants, definitely make sure to share them with me, tagging me at Squibbles Crochet Corner. You can also visit my website www.squibblescrochetcorner.com for more crochet patterns. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great week and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.